Hello, today with my client, we'll be performing an exercise known as a push-up. The push-up is a body weight exercise for the upper body. It is a compound exercise, meaning it involves multiple joints, stimulates large muscle groups, and it will be help you develop strength and endurance, build upper body muscles, and better coordinate the work of the muscles in your upper body, core, and legs. The reason I decided the push-up exercise for my client is with daily life, you often need to push against objects from doors to shopping carts to baby strollers. The functional fitness you would develop with a push-up will be extremely helpful. They can be done basically anywhere and don't require any equipment. Like today, we're just doing it in our room. The muscles being worked are the chest muscles, the pectoris major and minor, abs, shoulders, and triceps. You must start by kneeling on an exercise mat or the floor, bringing your feet together behind you, then bend forward to position yourself in a high plank. In this position, you will start with your palms flat on the mat, your hands shoulder width apart, with your fingers facing forward. Your shoulders should be positioned over your hands, your feet should be together behind you, and your back should be flat, keeping your abs pulled in. Then slowly lower your body towards the floor. Keep your head in line with your spine. Don't let your low back sag or your hips go upwards. Continue to lower yourself until your chest is close towards the ground and bend your elbows until your elbows are at a 90 degree angle. Press upward with your arms. Continue pressing until you're back in a plank position. Now I'm going to have my client begin her 10 push-ups. Gonna begin her. She is flat and over, and she's gonna begin. Her elbows are tucked in, they're not flaring out. Her back is flat, her head's aligned. Her chest is just barely touching the floor, which is great. Common mistakes are the hands are too far forward. When your hands are farther out, your body, you're placing more strain on your shoulders. While you can change how close your hands are together to get different effects, your hands should always be under your shoulders. Another common mistake is not having a flat back while performing a push-up. This can cause by not properly bracing your core, keeping your torso stiff throughout the movement. This is not only bad form, but this can also cause back pain. If my client was struggling, I do a modified plank exercise to build more core strength. The final common mistake is limited range. You won't get the full benefit of the exercise if you're only going down partially or even up partially, up with your push-ups. If you're struggling completely with the full range of motion, it's better to switch to an easy modification, such as an incline or knee push-up. I would incorporate a decline push-up or a more difficult push-up. Is a more difficult push-up to perform because you're raised up on a box or bench or have my client perform a diamond push-up where the hands are more close together and you're putting more emphasis on the tricep if my client was more advanced in the regular push-up. And that's it.